Want to know how to make these gorgeous, steamy, flavorful red wine potatoes? Stay tuned. It's dinner time and by request I'm making red wine potatoes. I have a good bottle of red wine. Stuff that you would drink, never use stuff that's sold as cooking wine. Concentrates the flavors and if the flavors are crappy, you'll get crappy squared. So peeled, washed, and large chunked potatoes. I'm using russet, you can use uh, Yukon Gold, you can use Red Bliss, you don't even need to take the skin off of the Red Bliss, but I did peel these because these are older. I'm going to use about a cup of red wine, a cup of chicken broth, squeeze of parsley, you can use fresh. It's pouring outside and you want to go in the garden. <laughs> I'm using a shortcut. Several um, heads of or cloves of garlic, I'm just going to put them on hold. Slice onion and a can of mushrooms because I don't have any fresh, but I will make it work. So I'm gonna saute this until I get a little bit of a crispy brown coating on most of the sides, and then I will start adding the liquid. And I use a pair of tongs, just resting on the side. Oh, and there's butter in the pan. And I am making more than we need for tonight's portion because these are wonderful the day after and because it's Friday and we're home for the weekend, we'll have leftovers to have for lunch. That crispy, that sounds so good. It's starting to turn colors. I'll mix it one more time and show you what it looks like. So we're six minutes in on medium heat. I have it set right to medium. Um, you can see there's lots of color going on. I don't want it brown brown, but I definitely want all of the all of the cut surfaces to get a little bit of crispy stuff on it because it's gonna make them so tasty. I'm gonna show you. Like this. See that? I might let them go just a few more minutes and then I'll start adding liquid. I did add salt and black pepper to taste. Probably about a quarter teaspoon of coarse salt. I use a grinder. Let me show you. Just use a grinder. Um, because we're on kind of a low sodium diet, but you can do it to your taste and lots of fresh cracked black pepper Really yummy flavor pepper and uh, red wine go very nicely together I've drained the mushrooms and because they're a little moist They're making a little popping song. I've added them before I add the liquid If you have fresh mushrooms that you're using cut them on a thicker side. It's just a nice meaty addition So now I'm going to add the chicken broth And I eyeball it because I want to make sure that the potatoes are covered. And now the red wine. And now I'm going to add in some of the parsley paste. And then I'll add the onions and the garlic. Because I didn't want the garlic and the onions to burn. So let me mix all this and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready to simmer away for the next 25 to 30 minutes. So I've added the parsley paste, which is just a squeezed tube of fresh parsley. Okay. And lots of garlic cloves. They will get nutty when they cook slowly. That's not going to be overpowering or have bite to it. So the last thing I need to add is the uh, cut up onion. And then I will add a little bit more seasoning, more cr fresh cracked black pepper, and make sure that the potatoes are nearly covered and let them simmer on low, probably about Mm, two between two and three on my electric stove so low not completely not all at the very end but just so you see a little bit of a simmer going on there we go onion and now I can mix this so everything and I as you could see the onions are pretty big chunks but they're again they're going to get all the yummy flavors and I'm gonna need my other hand to mix and then I'll see if I need to add any more stock or wine you can also add water but the wine is the part that makes them so super yummy that's it everything added now i'm going to let them simmer away until they're fork tender but not falling apart because i'm not making mashed potatoes i'm making red wine potatoes so we'll check them in about 20 minutes or so and we'll see if they're near doneness you'll see the liquid will start to evaporate and it creates this gorgeous sauce so this is what they look like 
mm, I'd say about 35 minutes later and nothing is mashed potatoes there's still a little bit of liquid so that's the little bit of a sauce everything is taking on this beautiful Merlot color and while that was cooking I needed some little lamb chops and a sauce and I'll show you I'll plate it up and show you what it looks like all together so there it is the gorgeous potatoes the little tiny lamb chops and brandy wine tomatoes and that wine that I cooked with we can now have with dinner so there you go that's it uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments below tell me what your favorite potato side dish I would love to hear it otherwise don't forget about thumbs up it'll keep more videos like this coming to your inbox and I'll see you all next time thanks for watching everyone